The game we're playing is called A Night at the Watermill. Um, well, from the way it looks, it seems like a visual novel. I just really, I saw the art style and I was like, you know what, I'm just getting this game. Uh, there's no reason not to. Uh, so yeah. Um, I think it's a, it's a horror game. <laughs> I mean, I saw a guy there with a knife standing at the door, so maybe it is. To myself, an inexplicable riddle. Though, be thought becomes a mere chaos. In the middle of the night, inside. Damn, I'm just so good at reading quickly. Look at this art! Uh oh. A night at the water mill. Sponsored by Death. Oh, she looks a bit sick. Oh, what? Where am I? You're in the water mill, ma'am. Oh, what? What? Well Wait, can I... Do I have a button to check the... What was said? Uh... Oops. Uh, my head. My head. My forehead burning and my temples. Too. I... I... I shouldn't... I... I shouldn't... I know where I am? Oh, I... Shouldn't I know where I am? And what happened? And who I am? What is my name? Who am I? How do I look like? I'm not gonna say a goblin, but... No, I... Oh my god. I have no... No memory at all. Who am... I? What is this place? It smells musty. Of rain and old wood and water. It's so dark. Oh, a door. I have to go out of here. Uh-oh. Locked? With a combination padlock? Yeah. They find nice people and they like lock them inside. So now you know you shouldn't be nice no more. Oh dear. Have I been locked up in here? Did someone drug me to make me lose my memories? I feel sick. I have to find another way out. Maybe then my memory will come back. I can open and close my inventory with this button. Just letting myself know in case I forget. The question mark on the right highlights all objects I can interact with. I can inspect items in my inventory with my eye icon. It appears when I hover the mouse over an item in my inventory. Old dusty wheels, maybe from a wheelbarrow or something? I should take them. Yep. These are cigarettes. I don't smoke, I think. She knows we're streaming on YouTube. <laughs> The pack looks very new and is a wet a little. Strange. Can I take it? It looks like b blood? Is it my blood? Uh... Huh. You know, looking at her, I see some interesting features. So, her hands, if you look at, like, at, at where the wrist at, it looks like she's been chained. And also, um... She has symbols on the neck, so maybe she was chained on the neck as well. Both hands and neck. No, I'm I'm not hurt that badly, I think. A snow, white jacket or a doctor's coat. Hmm, strange. Doesn't look as old as the rest here. And soaking wet, has it been outside earlier? An old metal jug. It's dusty and full of cobwebs. <laughs> Very dusty, an old wooden box. Maybe it has been used for storing things. I could probably use it for something. Oh, someone used the boxes to build some kind of barricade. Barricade from what, though? I can't get past it. Could there be a way to move them aside? Oh, sorry, it's not clear to me, so... There is something behind it? Well, I can... I can't use the wheels on the boxes just like that, but maybe I can combine them with something else first. Maybe I can connect the wheels and the wooden box, but they won't stay in place just like this. Perhaps I can use my outstanding muscles to break it. 
It seems to be the, in the middle of the night, and there's a thunderstorm outside. I wonder what time it is. Past bedtime o'clock, apparently. A heavy iron rod. Maybe I can use it. I'll take it with me. Yeah, I could put the, the wheels on the end of the rod, but then they would be stuck there. Shouldn't I do something else first? I could push the iron rod through the holes in the sides of the box. Now I have an interesting looking wooden box. Very interesting. Well, not super stable, but I've built a kind of wheelbarrow. Yes, I can use it to move the boxes. Now it can pass. Let's see what's over there. Huh? Ah! The window! He's here! He's coming for me! Who's here and who's coming for you? I have to run! Someone made a fire here. There's a suit everywhere. Oh, I think it's still warm. And the air still smells of fire, too. Has anything been burned here recently? Why? Hmm. Burned. Oh! A note? Uh, treat. Get out. Or I... I'll kill you. Wait, won't you kill me if I get out too? Because you're out there? Anyway. Get out or I'll kill you. <gasps> what? Who wrote that? Was it whoever who locked me in here? I... He'll kill me. If he finds me, he'll kill me. I have to get out of here. A rusty lantern. There's a candle in it, but it's not lit. Well, I'll take it anyway. Yeah, smart gal. An old rope. The surface feels weird. It's so scratchy, it could hurt my hands. Just some old boards. I have no use for them. Hmm. I like the art style. Yeah. It's, it's nice. A massive round stone. It's dusty. I guess they used to grind stuff there in former times. Yeah, grind the competition. Some kind of lever? A part of a grinder? I don't know what this is for. Whew, I can barely reach it. What's that? Probably some kind of broken poker or something. Doesn't look like I can use this in any way though. If anything, as a weapon. Should I pick this up and use it as a weapon in case I'll have to fight back? No, I'm a pacifist. I'll leave the weapon here. Let's do this. Nah, I'm pacifist. I'll kill him with my sheer intellectual... intellect. There are some pages missing from the books. Did someone burn books over there? My god, I would never do something like that. It's still raining heavily, pretty heavily. A large shard of glass. Hmm, strange. Nothing around here seems to have been shattered, though. It's not dusty either. Why is it here? Has it recently been used for anything? Hmm, I think next to it are very thin threads. Like from clothes? Anyway, I think that's it for this screen. Oh. A lighter. I shouldn't be messing with it, but I'll take it anyway. A mobile phone? Hmm. Do I know it? But it's not mine. Or is it? Unfortunately, I don't know the pin. It's pretty wet and smells strongly of cigarette smoke. I'll leave it here for now. She said cigarette smoke, so I assume that the pin is on it. A wet jacket, a doctor's coat. Hmm. A door apparently leading outside. It's secured. I can't open it. Someone must have locked me in here. That is a combination padlock, but what is the code? Oh, there's another door. Oh. I have to open it. I have to get out of here quickly before he gets me. 
Uh, I don't know about this. A bar, bar door. Strange. The door in front of, of it. The floor in front of the door is quite wet. But maybe I can open the door if I manage to move the bar. And run. Huh? Hmm. Ah, uh, not a chance. The bar is completely stuck. I can't open the door like that. Damn it. Is there anything I can do? I need to open this door somehow. Maybe break the bars holding it. A plastic container. It's empty and the lid is missing. Hmm. And it's a little wet. It seems to be a drug for treating severe memory gaps. Recommended dosage. Take one pill every eight hours. Do not skip any in intake. Prescribe for Lenore Han. Am I? I mean, who is this? Who is Leonor? Should that name mean something to me? Why does this container look familiar? To me? Wait, so I attacked him? He tried to give me the pills, I attacked him. He didn't look like an evil doctor. An evil doctor has an evil smile, like, hmm. <laughs> Time to look for the eight pages, I guess. <laughs> I guess no bad ending. Hmm. Yeah. Stay mad. Oh, an old mirror. Well, I guess now she's gonna find out how she looks like. I could certainly see myself in it, but the mirror is pretty dirty. What if we do this? I can't and won't light that. Maybe I can use a piece of cloth. Hmm, how strange. It looks like there are wet stains on it, like footprints? This scrap of cloth, these wet footprints. Hmm, what was that again? Uh, what? It's just a prank, bro. Yeah, I can clean the mirror. Now I can look at myself. Uh, I'm a little excited. I wonder what I look like. Damn. Are you gonna say anything? Oh. Huh? What? What's that? What did, did he do to me? A scar? Have I been hurt? Or, or... No, maybe it's just for fashion. My god, I think I'm getting sick from this sight. My body feels a little wet from sweat or rain, and I feel cold. Why am I actually dressed so lightly in this cold? Or have my clothes been taken away? I just don't know. Nothing makes any sense at all. I have se several scratches and bruises on, on my legs, but nothing bad, I think. They appear to be relatively fresh. Wait, so maybe the same bruises she has on her hands and neck are also on her legs, I wonder. And what is that? Um, grass? Have I been outside recently? Yes, I must have. I must have been outside. And I also have these bruises on my ankles, just like on my wrists. Just like I thought. Where did they come from? Hmm, my head. Everything's so blurry. My wrists are all bruised. Like, con con contusions? Where does that come from? It looks fresh, but also like... Like something that has been there for a long time. Was I being held captive somewhere? Why don't I remember that? I should know about that. Why can't I remember? Well, that was insightful. A saw! It's blunt, but maybe it will help me with a door bar somewhere else. The size too blunt, otherwise it might work. Maybe we can find a way to sharpen it. Maybe the exit we choose will affect the ending. Wait, there's a dead body. There is something, but I can barely see it. I need more light. <coughs> a dark stain on the big gear. What's that? Boxes, more boxes. Is there anything special? What was that? A mice. Oh, yikes. I'm gonna get 50 achievements for every time I interact with something. 
It seems to lead to the upper floor, but I can't get it from here. And I just want to get out of here anyway. No more s strolling around. By the way, can I light the... Oh, I can. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I need oil. <laughs> the candle in the lantern is now lit. I hope I don't burn myself. I hope I don't put my finger in it and burn myself. Maybe now we can see a little more. Maybe that's the dark doctor. Oh, it is. Because we saw... Uh, we saw us pulling away a piece of cloth. So I assume he stumbled up over and hit his head. Oh. Also, he's the same skin as me. So I assume we're family. Oh, what's that? Who is that? Or maybe we're not family because our hair color is different. Is he dead? Oh, I have never seen a... Oh dear. Hey, look at that. It's a cod. Oh, there's something written on his wrist. A numeric combination. What could it be for? Maybe it's for a locked door. Hmm, but if it was, that would mean... Did he lock me in here? Anyway, I can't possibly remember the combination just like that. My head feels fogged up all right i'll remember it for you 976 nine people were afraid that seven might fall a, a step hmm what's that what what are these photos i was his patient maybe and what kind of photos why do they ha all have grits? And who who is this? Is it me? Uh, let me look. Yeah, that's you. You have the sparkles on your nose. And the hairstyle looks very similar, even though your hair on the, the right side, or the left side, I'm pretty sure that's, um, you know, been cut in favor of doing the cut. Uh, I've, I've just seen my reflection in the mirror. Yes, I think that's me in, in these photos. But for what for? These photos don't look like this. Why does this... Why does this man have them? There is someone... Something else. Another photo. With text on it. What does it say? Dr. Mandelson and Dr. Bermenthal at the Annual Congress of Psychotherapic Surgery... The two specialists look back on more than 10 years of cooperation in their field of expertise. I don't understand anything. Should I know these men? What does it mean? A name tag. Dr. Mandelison or something like that. And in a small print underneath. Head of psychiatry. Hmm. The rest is no longer readable. So I'm guessing the hand I saw outside was the other doctor. Man, these doctors won't leave me alone. He got a cut in the leg, probably from the uh, shard, right? He has a, uh, he has a nasty injury on his leg. Why? How did this happen? Is that the origin of his the bloody traces on the floor? Then he came from the direction of the locked door. We gotta search him real good. Well, he seems to have hit his head hard, or he has hit by a blunt object. Maybe someone with great strength. This gal. <laughs> Maybe the same person who did all this to me, too. Oh, I, I guess that could also be it. You know, I didn't think about that until she said that. Well, that's enough playing with the dead. Well, well, well. I guess I'm gonna grind this. Now the size sharp. Oh, I thought I need to use the grind lever. Some kind of lever, a part of the grinder. I don't know what this is for. Time to escape. Yes, the size now sharp enough. I'll give it a try. Ah! Who? What? Who's rattling the door? He is out there. If I saw this door bar open now, he will definitely hear on it, th the other side. I can't do that. Maybe 
if I'd instead got the other door open and snuck out of there. But the other door has this combination padlock. Maybe I can open it somehow after all. What could the, be the combination? I don't know. Hmm, a door apparently leading outside. It's secure with a padlock. I can't open it. Someone must have locked me in here. Uh, that is a combination padlock, but what was the code? The stairs have partially collapsed. I don't dare to go up. A mobile phone. Uh, do I know it? Not mine. Yes, I could, but I don't like cigarette smoke. Hey, how do you know? You don't remember anything. I can't and won't like that. I can't and won't like that. <laughs> I got an achievement for trying to burn this place down. That would work. I'd risk burning down everything. I didn't want you to burn the door, you know. I hardly dare going closer to the window. I saw a hand out there. Someone is out there. I don't know if I should saw that. Oops. That won't work. Why would I saw those boards? Wait, there's some old books. There are pi missing pages. Uh, did someone burn books over there? My god, I would never do something like that. She doesn't remember. Maybe I could light it again, but why would I? I'd rather not. Hmm. It's still running pretty heavily. No! I can't do that! Okay, so you gotta figure something out. That won't work. But, no! I need a combination, but there has to be a different way. I, I just... I just cut off, like, the skin. Like, part of the skin. You don't need all of it. Risk of you played that signal? Yeah. I have a archive of, of it, of me beating it on the stream archive channel. There's a link in the description of the stream. Maybe I'll patch him up. But, no! See, she's such a drama queen. Just caught him. <laughs> but the lantern is already lit. Gotta find a way to get up there. No, out there is this, my stalker. Maybe I can somehow open the door with the padlock in the other room after all. blood here. Yes, the traces of blood. They must be from the dead man I found. The blood, the blood must have come from the injury on his leg. From the traces of blood, I can possibly track which way he had gone. 
well, he'd gone this way. To where he ended up. Hey, a page from a book! Page from a book! A printed page from a book! Maybe I can use it to write on it. Well, you need a something to write on. Maybe a pencil that I can grind. I don't have a pen to write down. Hmm, maybe I can make an improvised one somehow. Like the... The candle? How do you make an... I can't do that with the old book page. So you don't want to write with blood? Maybe I can still use the page? What can I use to improvise? Like this stain? I don't know if I should... Listen, you have to do something to make an improvised... Like just... Oh wait, there is something on the floor here. Syringe. Hmm, there is something I remember. A syringe? There was something. Can I use it to write? And here I thought I'm gonna be smart. Now look at me. How did you write this? With the charcoal? Hmm. I need a piece of wood to burn. And then I'll use the charcoal to write down the code. Wait, there is dusty edges here. Mm, dus dusty edges on the floor? Apparently some boxes were located elsewhere until recently. Until someone moved them. Apparently someone with enormous strength. If only I could remember what happened. Maybe the wet cigarettes belong to the man who is lying back there. I don't think they're mine. Maybe he was a smoker? Come on, just use something to write on. You could literally use anything. The man's blood, the charcoal, the edge of the lighter. You, you could do anything. You could even burn it to the page. Hey, there is a piece of... Sh oh, it's a glass shard. I 
Oh, okay, so I also interacted here with everything, too. Yes, I also interacted here with everything, too. I did not mean to click that. Yeah, interacted with everything. So what the what the heck? Um, a printed page from a book. Maybe I can use it to write on. Smart gal. The candle is in the lantern is on. I hope I don't burn myself. A lighter. I shouldn't be messing with it, but I'll take it anyway. What the heck? I interacted with everything. What the heck? Okay, I'm a, a bit confused to what the game wants now. There is a very specific interaction the game wants. I just don't know what it is. Do I do I return it to the book? I think I returned the page to the book. Or not. Confusion. I don't know what she wants, but she wants something very specific. Oh, I cut it off. I got the grinder part, so now I can put it in the charcoal with the suit from the fire. I have made some kind of pen. Uh, now I guess I'll just go back to the code and then write it. How is she this smart, man? Have you played Amanda the Adventurer Risk? Uh, no, I haven't, but I, I watched the uh, playthroughs of it, of Cold Kenshin. It was fun. I don't have a pen to write on. You do? Yay! Pen and paper. I can take notes. How am I this smart? A combination of numbers. For what? I wonder what it could be good for. Oh, wait. There is a fourth number. I didn't see that. I wonder what it can be good for. It was written on the wrist of the dead man. Is he somehow connected to me? So, nine was afraid that seven would fall off by one. Yeah, now I can write down the combination. That way, I don't have to keep it in mind. Still gonna keep it in mind, though. Oh! Hang on. Hmm, the threat on the floor. Somehow this handwriting now seems more familiar. The handwriting? Could it be my own? Why would you kill the man over there? But no, that makes no sense. You kill that man. Door apparently outside. I can't open it. Very well. I'll try the combination now. Nine seven, uh, nine seven six one. Huh? What was that noise? Did something break? Quick! I really need to get out of here. It's the boogie monster! Oh, it's a child! <laughs> Stop right there! <gasps> Don't go! A few minutes ago, outside. Damn it, this door locked. How do I get in? Uh, 
Oh. Uh, no, Dr. Mendelssohn. I shouldn't go any faster. It's still raining. Cats and dogs. Eh? Huh? Oh. What, what happened to me? My head is spinning. Oh, I don't see anything. What? Wh where are my glasses? I must find my glasses. Where could they be? Is that your glasses? What in a little reflective, but I can only see it blurred. Where are my glasses? Feels familiar, but I can't tell without my glasses. Fabric? Can't see. Oh, hard and sharp. Damn it. Where are my glasses? I don't know. That over there looked like glasses. Oh, my glasses. H how good to have them back. Now I can see something again. Oh, my head hurts, but... Oh, yes, the rain. We have gone off the road. Dear God, the crash. Where? Where is everyone? I wonder if anything has happened to the others. I should look around. The stretcher. It's totally destroyed, definitely from the crash. I remember she was strapped on it. The doctor always told me it was for her own protection. Oh, I thought uh, there was a... A type on protection. Apparently the typo was in my brain. Oh. Oh yes. The restraints. I remember. I told the doctor they were too tight. They were so tight they cut into her wrists. Even the one on the neck. I felt so sorry for her. But the doctor only yelled at me. And I had no understanding of such things. Am I the doctor or are you Edgar? She must have managed to free herself after the crash. But where is she now? So I w so the hand in the window that was this guy. Hmm, shards, sharp ones. Maybe I could use one of them, but I'd rather not touch them with my bare hands. See, if I picked up the knife, I would stab this nice guy. He's so nice. Why would I stab him? Always assume the best. Watch as he kills her. <laughs> my phone. No way. Come on, please. No reception anywhere. Maybe over here? Hmm. Maybe somewhere else. Uh, damn. Whatever I desperately needed. Whatever I desperately needed it. Oh, the car's license plate. How did it get off the road? I don't remember the crash itself. But I know that Dr. Mendelssohn had pushed me to go faster. It always makes me sad when he criticizes my driving style. And now this. There's definitely blood in those shards. Although some of the blood was washed off by the raid. Did someone get hurt? I mean, you're hurt. There is blood on you. Just a rock. Unfortunately, I'm not very strong. Maybe I can use the hard surface with something. I don't see anything else. Footprints. The track leads back that way? Did Dr. Mendelssohn and Dr. Bornfall go there? Part of the tracks are bloody? Well, now you know who got injured. One of them. One of them was, was a nerd and they got injured. Oh! What's that? An old water mill or something. I wonder if it's still in use. There's no light. But it seems to be the only building for my for miles around. Could they be nearby? Enter at your own risk. And R is capital because it's a reference to me. Not because all the letters are capital or anything. It, it, it must be about me. How can I make this about myself? What does it say? Enter at your own risk? Hmm. I guess that shack back there is old and run down. Old tape. A barrier or something? No. A fi finish line. Uh, it's tied to the fence, but torn in the middle. I wonder if the doctors or someone else did this. How could they do this? Just cross the finish line. 
An old fence partially broken. I'm sure it has been seen better days. More footprints. They must have gone to the mill. But the tracks diverge. Did they split up in front of the mill? I should go check it out. Hey, there is a name tag. That's probably Bormthal. Hey, it's Dr. Bormthal's name tag. So they went this way. It seems like the windows on the third on the second floor are open. Or the first floor. Wait, I can go back? Back is over here. So I assume this is the door. Maybe this is the back door? A door! I must try to open it. Ugh. No, doesn't work. Shut tight. Just a puddle caused by all the rain. It's been pouring like this forever. Footprints of one person. They are partially bloody. Someone must have gotten hurt in the accident. Ivy or something. I'm not a botanist. It has grown so long that it almost covers the door. Aha! An old ladder. It's pretty run down. I can hardly use it for that. Maybe I could fix it? You know, I'm just that smart and all. That path leads deeper into the woods. I wonder if I can get help anywhere. But I'm still in the middle of a thunderstorm, so I shouldn't go near trees. Better stay here for now. A small pound, artificially created for the mill, I think. I wonder if it's deep, deep enough to drown. That's a thing to an interesting thing to wonder about. A door. Maybe they are, are they are in the mill. How could I get inside? Have you tried knocking and seeing if anybody is inside? An old bridge. It leads over. Uh, the mill river. Hopefully it's still safe. I don't want to fall into the cold water and drown. <gasps> oh, wait. Is someone there? I saw movement. Can I get to that window? I told you he's the hand. Uh, um, uh, whew. Whew. Am I wrong? Maybe I didn't see anything there after all. Strange. In the, mean, in the meantime, she's inside. Oh my god, he's coming to kill me. I gotta get out. <laughs> that's, uh, that's her. That's an old shovel. I don't think I need to bury anything. Not yet. Maybe if I run into the competition. <laughs> Whoa! A startled bat? Yeah, I saw it too. Find the bat. Real Batman. Thank you for the achievement. <laughs> the bat again. Whoa, another achievement bat. A wheel. The wood is all rotten, though. Hmm. I can probably fix this and then go to one of the windows. I could swear there's something moving in there. Hmm. A bunch of leaves. I don't want to get too close. Maybe there's an insect under there or something. And I'm afraid of insects and bugs. Better leave them alone. <laughs> a tree stump. The tree must have been cut down at some point. Yeah? It didn't grow into a stump. Some old boards. Quite large. And the wood is still so is all soggy. I don't like eating soggy wood. I like crunchy. Pretty high. I wonder if I could make it there. Maybe it would help. There's a door up there. Hmm. Uh, no. It's locked tight. Or barred from inside. I can't open it. I have to find another way in. So maybe that's the back door. Oh, that those pills look familiar. Are these hers? The doctor used to give her those pills pretty regularly. What are they doing here? They're all soggy from the rain. 
Oh, a glove. Look like one of those Dr. Bromfell wears. It's wet, but not ripped. Well, we have one mystery, so we found the one doctor. Where's the other one? Hmm. Hopefully the old staircase will carry my weight. It's wet and rotted. I must be careful not to trip. Whoops! Boom, bad ending. Hmm, there are marks on the railings. Oh my, did someone fight here or something? There seems to be a slightly loose piece at the back of the railing. Hmm. A fight, you say? Hmm, the window is open, but I, um, I'm afraid I'm not athletic enough to climb up there. Well, well, well. It's not spinning. Hmm, despite the rain and the current? Is it somehow blocked? I'll take a closer look. Oh my god, it's a... I was about to say there's gonna be a dead body in there. Oh! Oh god! Well, now we know where the other doctor went, and that's Dr. Burnfall. You can tell by the ring and the amazing hairstyle. Dr. Burnfall? He... He... Did he fall into the... The mill race? Or has he been... My god! Or could he have been pushed? Mm, Dr. Bornthal. Sometimes he was mean to me. He made uh, nasty comments about my weight. But he always... Uh, but he was always the fun one of those two doctors. Edgar, get me a coke as cold as my ex's heart. Well, and now he is. I came too late. Where is Dr. Man Mandelison? I must find him. I had a feeling there was going to be a dead body when he said that it was blocked. I had a feeling. Now you know how good I am in this game. Well, I could touch it with a glove. Now what? Yeah, I didn't think about that. I don't seem to have any reception here either. Well, why, why'd you pick it up then, stupid? Alright, well, I need to fix the damn phone, so... Uh, the, 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 the ladder, I need to fix the ladder. The ladder is already broken, I shouldn't make it worse. Well, I can touch it with the glove, now what? Uh, where are the leaves? Well, I can touch it, that what? Gee, I don't know. Maybe if we use one of these boards? Theoretically, I could, but these boards don't fit the ladder. I would need a shorter piece of wood. A shorter piece of wood. I wonder if I could break the big boards with the rock, but they are really pretty big. Maybe I could use the rock with something else. I should be careful with the rock. I might still need it. Okay. Well, I can touch it with the glove. Now what? If the doctors are inside the water wheel, couldn't I call them with my phone? At least uh, I should hear their phones ringing then. Oh, damn. Still no reception. Damn it, man. Uh, I could fix it with the ladder, though. This is not the right size. I should get something else. Still not the right size, by the way. The ladder is broken. I should fix it first. Maybe I break the railing? 
Ah, piece of railing. I was able to break off part of the broken railing. Maybe that one's good for something. Hey, you're tampering with a crime scene. Get him. The railing piece can easily be clamped into the broken ladder, but it won't carry much weight like that. What else could I do? Tie it with uh, the thin. My phone is already pretty busted. It's already pretty banged up from the crash. More wood. All right, all right. Maybe I'll find some nails. Hello? Uh, then I'm going to click it twice. Can I get one of the nails from here? Now we need something to stabilize or tie down the replace step. The ladder needs only one wooden part. Hmm. I don't know. I'm looking. The ladder needs only one. But how do I stabilize it? I mean, come on, dude. Oh, doctor, it's so sad. I don't even know what to say. I came too late. Where might Dr. Mendelssohn be? I must... I have to fight him. My phone, it's still intact, but... Crab! No reception here. What's your profanity? Just a rock. Unfortunately, I'm not very strong. Maybe I could use these hard surfaces with something. Yeah, these pills. Oh, a glove. Looks like one of those Dr. Bothell wears. It's wet, but not ripped. The relic piece could easily be clamped into the broken ladder, but it won't carry much weight like that. What else can be done? I am thinking... Uh, can I break this? Basically a good idea, but the tape is still tied to the fence. I should cut it first. Alright. Stupid fence.
So what, I go back and I touch the shards with the glove? Ah. Using the glove, I carefully take a shard. It's quite sharp. Be careful, bro. Oh, yes. These restraints. Maybe I can use these. The restraints were cut. I don't think I could use them to fix the ladder. I would need something else. What was that? Alright. I'm gonna use the shard. The old tape must have been a barrier or something like it. I cut it off and took it with me. Hopefully it's still sticky. Now the ladder is fairly stable. Now to break into someone's water mill. Hmm, no. I think that's too... Far too wobbly. Yeah, that's what he said. Alright, I'm climbing. I could lead the ladder against the wall under the window. Now we just need to find a way to open the window. A shovel. No, stupid bat, get out of here. Whoa! Startled bat? Trah! Now the window pane is broken. Anarchy. First a few steps up the ladder. And now gently... The... Uh, an attic? How dark is it? And does it smell of smoke? So, the eyes we saw... That was uh, the eyes... Well, it wasn't eyes, it was glasses. That's why they reflected in the dark. A smoke? Hopefully no fire has broken out. Uh, there, I see a light, an old staircase. There it is! Whoa! Stop right there! Don't go! Please, I don't want to harm you. I'm Edgar. We know each other. I can help you. Ah, away! Stay away! But... Get out or I'll kill you! I, I just wanted to ask something. You're just the one who locked me in here. Me? Locked you here? What? How do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. Yeah. Wait, please listen to me. Can you remember what happened before the accident? Before the axi? Then? Mm, yes, the accident. Well, what do you remember anyway? Sh shut up! Stop confusing me! Uh, okay, okay, easy. What's your name? My name? Uh... Guys, I must save the game. I gotta get all the good endings. Oh, it's Lin L Leonor. You are called Leonor Hand. We know each other. Leonor. You, um, uh, you're in. In? You're in therapy. Therapy? In what kind of therapy? I, um, I, I don't really know. I'm not a doctor. Something about short term and long term memory or anything. You have been in psychiatric treatment with Mandelson and Dr. Barnfield for years. Do you remember them? I... N no, I don't think so. <laughs> You're lying! <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Uh, I'm not crazy! You're crazy! I'm not crazy! <laughs> oh, yes, of course not. <laughs> no crazy. Where am I? What is this? You are this crab who wants to kill me. Calm down, you're confused. Um, your clothes? Look at your clothes, don't you think they're strange? Hmm. And those bruises on your wrist and neck, do you know where they are from? I, I was held by force in, in here. That's where they must come from. But don't the bruise look much older than just a few hours? Yeah, Leonor. Yeah. Didn't think about that. I don't know, do they? You are, um... Dr. Madelson has decided that you must be, uh, stopped from harming yourself always. He's a specialist in disorders of the brain, you know. I think it's called, well, it's something like a straitjacket, but for your protection. She's so mad. You must have managed to free yourself. Doesn't your clothes seem strange to you as well? Do you know where your straitjacket has gone? I'm not crazy. I'm not lunatic. I'm not crazy. Um, yes, I also have been wondering. 
Uh. I burned this horrible straight jacket, I think. It was burned, I think. Yeah, remember. Good ending, you remember. Your memory has come back. Actually, having an accident was a part of the therapy. The straight, the straight jacket is gone now, that's for sure. We were driving, the four of us. They were going to take you to another psychiatric hospital. You were completely tied up with a straight jacket and, and also with additional restraints on a stretcher. And there was a bad car accident. I have to admit that, unfortunately, I was the... Well, I was driving the car. Dr. Mendelssohn wanted me to go faster despite the rain. Mendelssohn? Oh, I have such a terrible memory. Yeah, yeah, you have terrible memory, so that means I'm right. But the man in the room back there? The... <gasps> that man? Could he have been... Well, I guess there is nobody to treat your memory no more. Where, where is this Mendelssohn? Oh, I thought you could tell me. Have you seen him? Uh-oh, ulterior motive, she's not telling. We need to find him. Uh, we need to find him. I'm sure he can help us. Shall we look for him together? Oh, no! Uh, sh no, shut up! Wh what's wrong? Mendelssohn... Uh... Did he try to sedate me? Why else would he use a syringe? Please, we must fight Dr. Medicine. Maybe he's injured. You know, I found Dr. Berthwell outside. He must have been tumbled. He must have tumbled somehow. He fell into the race of the water mill. We have to check if Dr. Mandelison is okay. Please, Leonor. Dr. Bermenthal. Water mill. Race. Oh. Did he mention the race? Or does she just know that? Because if she does, I think she's the one who killed him. Man, man, hands that wanna grab me. Bermenthal, he he wanted wanted me. He he wanted me. No, you're come you're coming with me. You need your pills now. Take uh I No So that explains the pill drop and then she pushed him over. And Dallison Doctor, the syringe Calm down, for God's sake, girl. Let me give you this damn shot. Disorders of the brain. The brain. What What have they done to me? My brain. No. Let me go. Ah, uh, my head. My head burns. Oh, y you need help. You need your meds. Uh-oh. You know what happened to the last guy who ended up, uh, who gave her meds? Or tried to give her meds? Handed up in the race. By the way, why are they all blue? I don't know. Look like an artistic choice. Or maybe... They were born that way. Do you remember them? N no, I don't take any meds. Never. Yes, maybe. I do need medication for my braid. Okay, good ending, bad ending. Uh, not taking medication would kill them. Take him medication. We don't kill him. Meds. There, there was something a memory... My meds. Your medication is important for you. It kind of extends your memory, your short term memory, or something like that. You always have these blackouts in between, you know. B blackouts? Yes, you and. Uh, and then you pass out, and after that, you don't know anything. And again and again from the beginning. Your memory, somehow, it is damaged. Dr. Mendelssohn said that your memory are all there, but you can't access them properly anymore. Not whenever you want. That's why the doctors want to help you. Uh, no one wants to help me. You're killing me. You wanna kill me. You wanna kill me. No, stop. Stop. Uh, my head. What? She made a phone sound. Huh? Oh, finally, my phone has a reception. Hey, calm down. We call for help now. Everything will be fine. Hmm. Oh, I have a message from Dr. Mendelssohn. Uh-oh, he's gonna say she killed uh, she killed him. She murdered her. Kill her on first sight. Where is... Oh, the message was sent several minutes ago. It must have arrived just now. Edgar, I hope this message gets out. Hardly any reception in this godforsaken place. 
The patient is locked up in the old water mill. We need help. The patient is still very violent. We'll now try to sedate her. Then go looking for Dr. Barmenthal. Get help and do not go near the mill. Oops. I, uh... Did, did you... Did you meet the doctor? Yes. And, uh... And, and what? Where is he? He's back there. He's dead. He... He... Did... Did you... I think I should get some... Some help. <laughs> Hum! My... Head... Is it true? Am I about to forget any everything? Everything? Or is this all a lie? Is this in my head memory or my imagination by suggestion? Huh. Is he... Is he dead? I have to get out of here and get rid of this cursed straitjacket. This, this damn straitjacket. Maybe I can use the shard to cut myself free. Yeah, burn. Burn, I hate this thing, yeah! Screw you, straight jacket. Now, I'm free of it. But why, uh, burn... Oh, I guess she used the, bow the notes as tender. Followed, I'm being followed, I'm warning you. If you come too close to me, you... You... You will not get me. You will not get me. You won't get past these boxes so easily. Who so heavy, but now you cannot pass. Wait, she moved it. I told you she's strong! I told you! She was like, oh, someone with strong, uh, strong power can move this. No, you're strong. Oh, hello, Dark Doctor. By the way, we need a doctor right now. You will never get me. Ah! And then she lost consciousness. Um, are, are you okay? Ah. Uh, we could try calling for help. Uh, we could try calling for help with my phone. Someone will come and pick us up. What do you think? We can't stay in this decrepit water mill forever. There's nothing around here. Trust me. What should I do? I have a throbbing headache. But as long as I can still think clearly, I have to decide. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, uh, I guess if I had a weapon, I had I would have probably had an option to launch and kill. I hope it's not gonna be like, Psych! Here's your medicine! Back to torture. I believe him. Okay, we'll get help and no one will hurt me anymore. Oh my. She's been through a lot. She's so strong. How is she this strong? I guess she moved a lot of boxes. And she has nothing, not even her memories? Nothing. And I'm already stressed out whenever the docs say something mean to me. She's brave. I mean, you're brave. You saw the docs dead and you decided to keep going. No, Leonore. I'll take care of you for now. I've got an idea. I'll give you my phone and you will use it to record a voice message. Uh, a voice message? Yes, you'll record everything you remember right now before you lose your memory again. And you, if you have another one of those blackouts again, I'll play it t to you. Then you'll hear yourself speak. Yes, that sounds reason reasonable. Okay, now then, just start. And then we call for help. So, um, I'm Leonor Han. And when I woke up earlier, I had no memory at all. Oh, I see the good ending. Oh, nice. I kind of want to see the bad ending now. I really want to see the bad ending, guys. In fact... I think there is three endings. Wow, look at that art. Hey guys, I think that's the story game design, game design and graphics. How does she game design? With a pen. Yeah, he looks like a programming and audio guy. And look at all these testers. <laughs> With Skate Girl, there is no way there is no quality assurance. 
Thank you for playing. No, thank you for making uh, blue people in this game. Hello, Aveline. Oh, I'm awake. Bad ending achieved. All right, so now we go and be like, no, you lie. Why do you lie? I don't want to hurt anybody. I'll leave him there and run. I'm going to open this door behind me now. Don't you dare take one step in my direction. D don't go out there. It's raining and there is a thunderstorm. And you need help. Okay, I think he's gonna approach. You're gonna, she's gonna kill him. <gasps> no, I think he's gonna approach and she's gonna die. He, she's probably gonna slip up or something. Uh, I can take care of myself. Please, I just want to help you. Sometime later. Yes. Y yes. Uh-huh. Exactly. Edgar Scout. An old abandoned water mill. It must be somewhere nearby of the country road. Yes, great. I'll wait for you there. The patient, Leonor Han. Do I know where she is? What? Extremely dangerous! Oh, Dios mio. Whoo! Uh, uh, nope, nope. I haven't seen her. No idea what happened to her. Super bad ending. She killed everyone. Oh, that's the neutral ending. Anyway, I think now we have to go back and get the knife to get the, the other ending. I believe him. He will help me. No! I'm going to take this poker and fight back. I don't want to hurt anybody. I'll leave him there and just run. Stab him! Ah! Wait! No! Uh, help! Ah! Oh, I think I'm gonna pass out. About a half an hour later. About half an hour later. Oh, oh, where, where am I? Oh, I don't remember at all. Ah, oh, man, a dead man. Who is that? Who is that? Was he stabbed? Who would do such a thing with a poker? By whom? By whom? What happened here? Oh god, uh, I have to get out of here. Killer instinct. See the bad ending. Okay, so it seems like even though it looked like I could do other things, there wasn't other things. Like, I thought maybe without a phone, he's gonna be like in a pinch. Like, he'd have to... He'd have to decide something to do without a phone. Or, uh, I don't know. Maybe... Uh, picking up a weapon locks you into a bad ending too. But that didn't seem to be the case. Well, that was A Night at the Watermill. A visual, a cute visual novel game about, you know, an un unfortunate accident and people dying. And occasionally stabbing, stabbing good people too. Anyway, it seems like that was case one, right? L Leonor. So maybe the next case is gonna be, you know, there is another case, as you see. Huh, you think I didn't notice the developers? Think again. <laughs>